We're in a race for the human race. We're in a race for the human race to save our planet that we can't replace. No other Earth is there in outer space. Give Mom a break, for goodness sake. I'm gonna give much more than I take. I'm not defined by what I buy, but what's inside my heart and my mind. I'm not defined by what I can buy, but what's inside my big heart and mind. Go get your seat. Your seat's this one because it's higher. Get in your seat right here. No, no, right here, Pace. Okay, Paisley's gonna have a Danimal's yogurt on the way to school this morning. I took her coat off, so don't worry. I don't put my kids in their car seats with their coats on. Is that good? You're so cute. All right, let's get everybody else. That's your coat. You guys all ready? I'm gonna put your coat back here. Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. So we are on our way this morning to take Paisley to her ABA therapy. I call it school just because she's there all day and it's kind of like being at school. So yeah, right now it's 7.50. We live 10 minutes away from her ABA location. She actually switched locations. It's still the same company, but it's a closer location, which is amazing um, because I can literally pull up to the front door, which means I don't have to get anybody out of the car other than Paisley because I'm literally right at the door so the kids can stay in the car. I can run in, sign her in, and come right back to the car. So that is A+. plus. I am so proud of myself because I feel on top of things this morning. We're not like rushing out of the door, probably because I did not have to get anybody dressed and everyone's just in their pajamas because we're dropping her off, but we do need to swing by the store, the grocery store, because I do need some more milk and some more formula for the baby. So Paisley's back there eating, well, she's not eating, she's drinking her yogurt. She's got a Danimals drinkable yogurt. She usually just has a light breakfast, like Danimals yogurt, but I did give her the Pediasure Shake. It's the Walmart brand, the Parents' Choice Pediasure Shake, and those are full of nutrients and calories, so that fills her up pretty, um, well and that will sustain her usually most of the morning um, it's kind of like drinking a milkshake um, so it's got all the nutrients and everything in it for her and it's really good for her she loves it um, so I give that to her first thing in the morning because she is so picky and she doesn't eat a wide variety of things and then she'll have her yogurt she does have things at school that I actually bought for school so she has like goldfish crackers um, fruit snacks she does have waffles there at school that they can make for her in the morning um, so she'll probably have that after a couple of lessons this morning she usually does because today she's going from 8 to 3 so they'll probably do a couple lessons when she gets there and then she'll probably have some waffles and then more lessons and then um, 
I don't know how their day really goes. I mean, I do, but I, I don't know like the, the exact detail of what she does at every moment. But um, then she'll have lunch. She does have bagel bites and grapes there and some of her pouches. Um, so she's all set. So I don't ever have to worry about packing her lunch or anything because she has everything she needs right there. At school. Okay, we just dropped off Paisley and um, yeah, it's now 8.05, but we're still sitting here and I'm kind of kicking myself in the behind because as I mentioned, I need more formula and I need more milk. And I knew that yesterday. And yesterday I had an opportunity to go to Target when it was just me and Avery. So I did not have, you know, anybody else with me. And so I could have easily gone into Target or wherever to get these items and I didn't. And now it's drizzling. It's coming down pretty, um, pretty consistently. It's not heavy. It's not like big rain, but it's heavy enough to where I really don't I really don't want to get three kids out of the car to go into Walmart or the commissary anyway and right now I'm debating I'm like do I want to go to Walmart do I want to go to the commissary um, both have those children's carts which are easy um, Walmart probably has a bigger one but it's Walmart and you know Walmart's always busy although it didn't really look that busy because it's eight o'clock in the morning right now but I'm like, I really don't want to get them all and go, you know, and I honestly, last night I thought about doing like the Target pickup or Walmart pickup, but I got so sidetracked getting the kids bathed in, in bed last night that I completely forgot to put in my order online. And so you can't really get an order right now and pick it up right now. So I'm going to have to go in. Um, I mean, I could go back home and maybe get one of my neighbors to come over and stay with the kids but I really don't want to have to do that because they have their own kids and they're trying to get their kids ready for things too so that's a little bit unfair so I think I'm going to wait it out I'm gonna go get some coffee first and then um, I guess I'm gonna debate what I want to do yes can I please have a venti pike with yes. half and half and six splendas, you said six splendas? yes can we have an okay. extra hot please um, I cannot do that, unfortunately. Okay, no uh, worries. My water comes out at 200 degrees, which is the hottest <laughs> I can make it. It's okay, I'm weird. I like it scalding. It's a fine. Um, can I also have the spinach feta and egg, uh, egg white wrap, please? Uh, the egg white, sous vide egg bite? I'm sorry? You said you wanted the egg bite? No, the um, spinach and egg white wrap. Oh, the spinach feta wrap. Okay. Yes. And um, we can steam the cream if you'd like so it doesn't cool down the coffee. Okay, that will work. Okay. Okay, and that'll be all. And may I have your name? Micah. Micah. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you. So in case you guys are wondering why I just went to Starbucks when I literally just brewed coffee this morning. Well, when I brewed the coffee, I forgot to put the top on the carafe. And I went upstairs and took a shower and thought nothing of it. And I came back downstairs and I saw sadness water, like coffee stained water. And it was like this much water. And I put like... 10 ounces of water in there so I'm like oh we got a problem something happened and I took the craft out and realized there was no top on that and so when that happens the filter backs up and so I open the top where the filter is and it's a pool of water and coffee collected up there so it wasn't too bad but I'm telling you I have had issues with this coffee maker I just need to get a single cup brewer at a time so like a, a Keurig or like a different coffee machine because me and this coffee machine are constantly battling it out and it was so upsetting because I'm like I need my coffee so I couldn't really sit down and watch the news and take a sip of coffee or you know just drink a cup of coffee but I mean I guess all is well anyway because I had to get leave to take Paisley so um, it kind of worked out but I got my Starbucks and I got a um, egg white wrap so um, that was a plus when that happened Okay, so I got the goods. I went into CVS for the formula. Honestly, it worked out right across the street from Starbucks. When I was pondering going to whether I should go to the commissary or Walmart, I was coming back after leaving Paisley's ABA and I was like, I'll just go to the Starbucks over here. But there was another Starbucks. And I'm like, I'm sitting at the light. I'm like, there's CVS right there, but I was in the wrong lane. I'm like, man, that's way easier. There's literally nobody there because they just opened a few minutes ago and I know they've got formula. So 
Um, so I just kind of hooked and crooked over into the Starbucks lane um, or into the lane to get to Starbucks. And then after Starbucks, I just came right directly across the street to go to CVS, which worked out perfectly because, I mean, it literally is right here. It was just so easy to run in and out. Um, they also have the carts for kids. So you can put kids in like the little driving cart, which is awesome. So if you have kids and you're worried about going into CVS, they have that. And my kids love that because it makes it so much fun for them. Um, so I'm so happy I got that done. I'm not going to get milk. Like I'm not completely out. The milk I need is like the lactate milk for um, my foster baby because he's a little sensitive. He's not completely lactose intolerant, but when he drinks regular milk, yeah. Um, but he's not completely out, so I don't really need it. I'm just, I was trying to just have extra on hand just in case we didn't, I didn't have to run to the store later, but it's fine and we can actually make it last all day. Um, so now I'm going to head home, home and Avery's having a banana. Is that good? Avery actually already had a cereal bar before we left the house to take Paisley. So, um, she usually wakes up pretty hungry, so she was ready to eat before we left. And now I'm going to feed our little foster babe his breakfast. Banana Avery? Is that good banana? Oh. She calls them onanas. Oh. Okay, so our little foster babe over here, he's gonna have one of these cereal bars. These are the Gerber oh. apple cinnamon cereal bars. I buy two boxes at a time. I buy apple cinnamon and strawberry banana. I think Avery prefers the strawberry banana and he likes these. Um, and he's also gonna have a banana. And then I'm also gonna give Avery some blueberries once she is finished with her banana. Is that good? Did you have a cereal bar? Yummy. You like those, huh? <laughs> those little bites are just too cute. Okay, finish that and you can have more blueberries. Oh goodness, this girl, she just never stops eating. <laughs> she's like a bottomless pit, but I'm glad she likes the healthier things. My kids have more of a plant-based diet than I do, that's for sure. I think one of them is a little squishy, that one. We'll take that one away. Yummy. Blueberries are her favorite. Oh, Avery, we have to give you your amoxicillin. I'm not looking forward to that. Avery had an ear infection over the weekend, so um, she was prescribed amoxicillin. And so, of course, it doesn't taste good. I hate that. It just smells like childhood. It just is a very distinct smell to it. And it reminds me of the hospital and of childhood because I don't know why every child has amoxicillin in their childhood. Um, but I literally have to hold her down because she's not excited to take medicine of any kind. Okay, you eat those and you can have more. We literally buy, we have two um, pints, are these pints? Yeah, pints, dry pints of blueberries in the fridge because Avery loves, loves, I cannot stress, loves blueberries so much. She eats a ton. I should make some like blueberry muffins since she likes them. We've got lots of fresh um, produce down here. Um, I'm thinking I might make some zucchini bread or some like zucchini and carrot pancakes. Uh, I'm going to try to eat better since we've been eating out so much and just kind of on the go and eating lots of fast food. Okay, let's try this coffee thing again, you guys. I don't know what I did last time or why that happened. Maybe because I left the top off, but I've done that before with other coffee machines and it's never done that. This is my Pike Place. This is my ride or die, my go-to at Starbucks. I love the Pike coffee this is just like their house coffee along with the Verona and then there's one other one I think the blonde roast but this is my favorite it smells so good so I always go to Starbucks and get this and I have them grind up the beans there because I don't know why I'm like an amateur for some reason and don't have a coffee grinder so that's kind of weird that I don't um maybe I should invest in a coffee grinder and a better coffee machine whoops I just like threw beans everywhere so all right Let's see. Okay, top is on the craft. Top is on. Um, the time is way off. I'm sure you guys have noticed time is way off because that says 1:59 and it is. That's actually five minutes fast, so it's like 9:10 right now. So I need to fix that. Um, we've got six cups. I actually might add a couple more cups, but we've got our coffee. We've got the filter in there. Everything's where it should be. I'm just gonna add a couple more ounces of water. I added two more, so we now have eight ounces, and we're gonna brew this. And, oh, is it on bold? We've got it on bold. Okay, you guys see this. Hopefully this is working properly. If not, I am gonna die and I'm gonna have to go get a new coffee maker. Okay, now I'm going to make 
some oatmeal. This stuff is so good. I have been buying this from Lidl a few times now. It is amazing. Our foster uh, son, <laughs> foster son loves this. He loves oatmeal. Um, he just finished his cereal bar and banana, so I'm gonna make him some of this oatmeal. The apple cinnamon is really, really good too, by the way, just FYI. And it's especially good when you add some um, berries to it, like some fresh strawberries and fresh blueberries. It is so, 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 so good. Um, but I have yet to have my egg white wrap from Starbucks. We've been back home for like 20 minutes now. I've been trying to get the kids settled and just um, give them some breakfast. Um, the baby is hungry again, because he's always hungry. So he needs to eat. Um, I put him in the swing, but that is not consoling him he wants to eat now so um yeah as soon as everybody finishes eating breakfast i can sit down and eat breakfast and sit down and finish my coffee so i am looking forward to that this is so good i just stole a bite no no i'm gonna do it i'll help you okay let me help you ready mm, yummy he loves oatmeal this is so funny i'm glad he loves food he's so not picky because my kids are so picky Avery's not as picky as Paisley, but obviously Paisley is picky because of her autism, but it's nice to have a child that will literally eat anything you <laughs> feed them and be grateful for it. Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys, obviously I can't show his face, but our other little foster babe, our newborn is here in the swing and he is just happily, um, he just had a, a bottle, so he's happy and he's asleep. My God, I wish I could just show you how precious he is, but I can't. But anyway, I'm just gonna show you guys the little setup I've got going on um, down here. As you can see, um, downstairs, I kind of need like a little setup. So I'm not running back and forth to change the baby um, or have the baby sleep. So um, this is a pack and play, um, a little nursery station center that we borrowed from a neighbor. She was so kind to let us borrow this. I had one like this with the girls, but um, we ended up getting rid of it before we left for Brad because we didn't have a use and I just really didn't want to drag around an extra pack and play. And I decided, I'm like, hey, if we have another baby, I'll get another one. Um, so down here, I've got a burp cloth just hanging on the side here. Um, in here, this is, um, you can actually push this down to the floor. So this is like, keeps it like a bassinet, so it keeps it raised, but once they're old enough, you just kind of put this all the way at the bottom. Um, so here is the swaddle blanket that I have from when Avery was a baby. I'm letting him borrow this. It's so so soft. This is um, Blankets and Beyond, and it's from um, Bye Bye Baby, I believe. And then I have the Sleep Sheep here. I just kind of keep tucked under here because he's young enough to where he can't roll. So, you know, things being on that side of him are just not in the way. So I just kind of keep that over there, and I just plays music, and I keep a couple of mittens and hats here. Um, and up here is the changing area. This is that little changing pad that I had just to lay it down um, just for a little soft surface. But over here, I have a whole little setup. So I've got some diapers look at how small those are these are like the huggies newborn diapers they're so tiny and he's actually newborn diapers are a little bit big on him i still have to fold them over because again he was a preemie so oh my gosh they're so cute got some wipes i've got a washcloth for whatever reason i got this from the hospital this is um i guess like a, a diaper rash cream or paste but it's completely pant Plant, <laughs> it's completely plant-based, so there's no harmful chemicals or anything in that. Um, so it's good for babies right from birth. So I have that there. I have a little hairbrush for him. And of course I have a bulb to suction on his nose and mouth, uh, whatever I need, because babies like that get little boogies and you know they only breathe through their noses, which I honestly did not even realize until um, when I was in the NICU talking to nurses that babies only breathe through their nose for the first two months and then after that they realize they can breathe through their mouth which I never knew so that's why it's so important for babies to be protected and not be sick <laughs> because it could really jeopardize um, their breathing so he is just in the swing snoozing away this is just so sweet I love this swing I used it I got this when I was pregnant with Paisley so both of my babies have used it and now my foster babies will use it and any future babies we have will use it um, but it's just so so sweet I love the music you can turn it to like daytime music nighttime music um, you can put the light on and the mobile so that's so sweet, but he's asleep, so he doesn't need to really look at anything. Um, she is on her snack 
slash second breakfast of the day. She's having some apples. Homegirl will eat an entire apple. Um, she just recently likes me to slice it. Normally she would have liked to just eat the apple on its own, but I'm gonna give her these and maybe I'll give her a PB&J, one of those Uncrustables. Um, ooh, actually I should probably take that out. So <laughs> this is what the kids have been doing. Um, but actually it's okay because that just inspired me because I'm gonna put them down for naps pretty soon. It's like, it's only 1045. So uh, I'll probably put them down for naps pretty soon. And then I think I'm just gonna go through and just like organize, like dump out each bin and clean the toys because everybody's been had a little sickness, not runny noses and coughs. So, um, but I've been Lysoling everything, wiping things down, but I think I'm just gonna go through and actually clean all of the toys individually and um, do that while they're napping. Oh, there's only one left. These go so fast. Avery loves these, so I guess we'll just follow those out. Last one. Um, so yeah, let's give her that for a lunch and then put her down for it. Okay, so I remembered, not that I forgot, I'm supposed to have a home visit today with my case manager at 11 o'clock, which is in 10 minutes, but she did call me about an hour and a half ago saying they had a meeting that came up with the foundation. So um, they're gonna switch that. She's going to come out with another social worker for this, um, just like, you know, our usual home visit um, this afternoon instead. So, which actually works out better because I would rather get the kids down for a good nap before this afternoon because I have to get everybody up and out the door to pick up Paisley again. So, um, oh, hey there, little buddy. <laughs> I turned around just in time. I'm about to give Avery her medicine, um, which sucks. I'm glad she's in a high chair so she's contained, but nobody likes amoxicillin. Nobody. So, um, yeah, this is going to be very, oh, gosh, very interesting. Uh, this stuff. Oh, this stuff smells. You guys know what I'm talking about, that amoxicillin smell. She gets 10 milliliters twice a day for seven days. So we've got a couple of bottles of this, so. Bear with me, it's about to get loud. I know, I know. Come on, come on, let's do it, come on. No, come on. Come on, Five, didn't we? Not so bad. So it seemed a lot worse than it actually was. <laughs> Paisley. Avery just, she doesn't like it initially when you try to give her medication. So, um, she definitely was, uh, resisting, but I literally just held her hands and she knew she had to take it. So she was more compliant with me today. Um, she only has probably another, um, couple days of taking this. So not too much longer. What's going on with my hair? So my hair looks shorter because when I washed it a couple of days ago and blow dried it, I curled it with the flat iron. I think because I'm still operating with that tiny flat iron, I still need to get the next size up. But like I curled it so tight that the curls stay. So <laughs> it, I mean, it looks a lot shorter because of the curls, but it's definitely growing. It's definitely longer. Actually, I need to make an appointment to get my hair done, but don't know when I'm going to find time to do that, but I need to make the time. Um, all right, it's 11 o'clock. They need to go down by 11.30 so I can start cleaning up. I need to do some laundry. I need to get ready for this visit, So, which means kind of like prep the house before we leave to go get Paisley because we pick up Paisley at three and then we're gonna come back. So we're really gonna have a very short amount of time in between to make sure the house is clean. Um, but by then Paisley should actually wanna go down for a nap because she'll be exhausted from her long day. Um, so, yeah, I've got a busy day I have. After her little dose of medication, Avery requested more to eat. So she's having another one of these cereal bars. Um, she loves them, which I'm happy because they are actually full of vitamins and nutrients and um, all of the good stuff and a lot of it, um, more so than an adult cereal bar. So that's why I buy her these. Um, they're not badly priced. I think these were like two something at Walmart. Um, so as opposed to like probably four to five dollars for like the earth's best organic kind which has the exact same vitamins and minerals in them um i'm not one of those sticklers like everything must be organic but i try to feed my family as organic as possible um but i'm not one of those like oh if it's not organic we can't eat it so um yeah, but because she likes these now, because she used to love pancakes like all the time in the morning, that would be her 
first and second breakfast, but now she loves cereal bars. Um, so these go quick, especially with another foster baby that loves them. So I'm gonna have to buy some more of those. Is that your cereal bar? Um, no, I, the camera is mine. My camera. Okay, I just put the kids down, my daughter and my foster son down for their naps in their prospective bedrooms. Um, they easily went down. It's not even 11.30, it's 11.19. And I think because we got up so early and just like out the door and just got our day going, um, as soon as we got up, I think they were really ready to go back to bed already. Like, I think they got up. I went upstairs to get Avery and Paisley up because now they share a room. I went to get them up at about 7, about maybe it was about 6 55 this morning um because we have to leave by 7 40 to get paisley to therapy by 8 um so i just you know there's not a whole lot we have to do in the mornings because they all take their baths at night and i really only have to get um, paisley ready to go and do um get her dressed brush her teeth do her hair um like i said her breakfast is so easy on the go so um, but yeah, everybody got up super early, so they are ready to go. I'm going to start some laundry. I think I'm going to do the baby's laundry right now, and then I'm going to sit down and tackle these toys and get everything cleaned. He's just a perfect angel over there in that swing. The blanket's kind of, um, the blanket's not covering his face, but it's like at an angle where, um, you can't see his face. So that's why I'm staying over here just filming him in the swing, but he's so perfect. He just chills, so he'll probably be ready to eat shortly so i'm gonna get going at least get some of the stuff done and come back and give him so i've been keeping the baby's clothes in this little bag um right here i should probably get him like a an actual hamper or at least a hamper that all of the foster kids can use um so that way i don't just have their stuff just collecting in a plastic bag because that looks ridiculous and it's actually harder to access because it's on a drawstring hanging from the door so that is not at all doable, so I'm gonna have to get a better um, solution uh, hamper laundry system for.
just so that I can access all this, but I find that this is like plenty of stuff to have. Okay, guys, I just had like the power hour cleaning all the toys so they're all clean and i'm so happy that i don't have a lot of them because we purged a lot of the toys before we even left fort bragg which is a good idea because a your kids don't need like a massive amount of toys there's plenty to play with um they can be creative and use their imaginations and play with different things and that's what you want um because i've seen it like i have i know some people that have kids that literally they just have every type of toy everything and there's no appreciation whatsoever for those toys and it's just like okay what else are you gonna buy me and i'm like oh i definitely don't want children like that thank goodness my children are not like that they don't expect gifts and they don't really they don't really care like yeah it's their birthday they're more excited about singing happy birthday and playing with balloons than they are gifts so i'm thankful that you know my children are appreciative um but anyway so now i put the clothes in the dryer and i'm about to have this almond coconut bar um i should probably eat some actual lunch but right now because i'm still kind of walking around doing a couple of things i am having this um coconut nut bar it's 118 and so in about an hour and 10 minutes, I need to start loading the kids up in the car to get ready to go get Paisley because we pick her up at three. And then um, we'll come back here and get ready for our visit and um, do our evening routine. That is what I want, you guys. I want that RV. Oh my gosh, this weather is just awful. Okay, guys, it is now about 6.20 in the evening. I actually just finished up with my visit with um, my case manager and another social worker about our placements. Um, just laughing because my house is a wreck after all of my efforts today in cleaning up the toys. The toys are nice and clean, but of course everybody grabbed the toys and put them in their mouths. Um, fun, that's always a good time. Um, we had, the kids had like a late lunch, so um, kind of like a liner. Um, so I'm gonna let them like take baths now and then have a light dinner like in a little bit um since they kind of just ate like a couple hours ago um Hazy's in the bathtub right now and i'm just trying to keep everybody together so um i'll try to get them down for bed by like eight o'clock eight thirty so yeah Avery just had some chicken nuggets and some avocado and some apples for dinner. And our other little guy had some chicken nuggets and apples as well. He's not a huge fan of avocado, so we still have um, some left over, but that's what everybody's having for dinner. And then they're gonna get their baths and get pajamas on and get brushed teeth, get ready for bed. Are you doing your alphabets? You're so cool, Pace. Are you wearing that to bed? You wearing your shades to bed? Say night night. Night night. That's right. It's time for bed. It's eight o'clock. Ah, uh, well, it is eight twenty. Kids are in bed. They're bathed. Teeth are brushed. I gave Avery her second dose of the day of her amoxicillin. Um, she was much more compliant this time, so she's kind of getting used to it. Um, so everybody's in bed. I'm sitting down to watch a little bit of The Real Housewives of New Jersey and eat a snack, this little cheddar cheese stick. But right now I am feeding um, my little foster babe here. He's so hungry, he's always hungry. Um, so I'm feeding him and then I would like to say I can just kind of unwind and get ready for bed, but that would be a lie because I have to clean up. There are dishes in the sink, dishes that need to be put away in the dishwasher clothes that need to be folded and high chairs that need to be cleaned um so i need to tackle that as soon as i'm done with him so i can just relax uh, now it's time to clean up good times all right guys well that's it for today thank you for spending the day with us i hope you enjoy this video I'm gonna go clean up now so I can just relax before I have to go to bed. Um, so please give this video a thumbs up to see more. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you never miss a beat. And I will see you in the next one. Good night, guys.